क्वेश्चन नंबर 141 अ हार्मोन पैकेज्ड विद इन सेक्रेटरी वेसिकल्स इन द हाइपोथैलेमिक न्यूरॉन्स बट स्टोर्ड एंड रिलीज्ड बाय द पिटूटरी इज एमएसएच दैट इज मेलानोसाइट स्टिमुलेटिंग हार्मोन वासोप्रेसिन ल्यूटिनाइजिंग हार्मोन दैट इज एलएच और प्रोलैक्टिन द हार्मोन्स ऑफ पिटूटरी ग्लैंड दैट आर वासोप्रेसिन also known as ADH and oxytocin. These two hormones are stored in the secretory vesicles of hypothalamic neurons and they are sent to the posterior pituitary with the help of axonal transport. Wherein these axons terminate in posterior pituitary. And these two hormones, that is ADH and oxytocin, are stored in posterior pituitary until they are stimulated for their release. In the given options, MSH is released by pars intermedia, vasopressin is the right answer. LH and prolactin are released from anterior pituitary. So the correct answer here is option number two, vasopressin. Question 142. Hypercalcemic hormone which also plays a role in phosphate metabolism is calcitonin, parathormone, renin, prolactin. Parathormone students is known as the hypercalcemic hormone. A hypercalcemic hormone will increase the level of calcium in blood. And it do so by mobilizing the calcium from bones to blood. And it will also reduce the urinary elimination of calcium, thus increasing the level of calcium in blood. Parathormone is released whenever there is a fall in the level of calcium in blood and it restores the level of calcium in blood back. It also regulates the level of phosphate in blood and it decreases phosphate concentration in blood and increases the urine elimination of phosphate. Thus, parathormone plays a role in the regulation of calcium and phosphate levels playing a role in their metabolism as well. The right option is parathormone, that is option number 2. The remaining option, calcitonin, it is antagonistic to parathormone. Renin will prevent the dehydration. Whereas option 4, prolactin, will stimulate the milk production and its secretion. The right answer is option number 2. Question 143. Secretions of endocrine glands named hormones enter blood capillaries and circulate through body. Choose the pair of purely endocrine glands. Adrenal gland and testis, pineal gland and adrenal, pancreas and liver, thymus and ovary. Let's analyze the given option students. Out of these, testis, pancreas, and ovary perform both endocrine and exocrine functions and the glands which perform functions of both endocrine as well as exocrine are termed heterocrine glands just the correct pair of only endocrine glands or purely endocrine glands is pineal gland and adrenal gland that is option number 2 Question 144. A 35 year old female reports to the clinic with symptoms of low energy, weight gain, water retention, and low BMR. The thyroid defect she most likely suffers from is cretinism, hyperthyroidism, toxic nodular goiter, myxedema. The symptoms that are mentioned are low energy, weight gain, water retention, and low metabolic rate. These symptoms can be attributed to decreased level of thyroid hormones in our body, that is hypothyroidism. And the case given on the question is of a 35-year-old female and deficiency of thyroid hormones in adults results in myxedema. So the right answer here would be option number for myxedema. Cretinism is due to hypothyroidism in children. In hyperthyroidism, almost opposite symptoms are seen where there is 
weight loss and high basal metabolic rate. Let's discuss option number three, toxic nodular goiter. In this, there is an enlarged thyroid gland. And this would have rounded masses or nodules. And that would produce excess thyroid hormones. And whenever there is excess of anything, it could be termed as toxicity. So the right answer here is option number 4, myxedema. Question number 145. Removal of parathyroid glands in the body fluids may be the cause of Addison's disease, exophthalmic goiter, hypocalcemic tetany, megaloblastic anemia. Let's understand the function of parathyroid glands. Maintain the level of calcium ions in blood. And if these are removed, then the levels of calcium ions in blood would reduce. And due to deficiency of calcium ions in blood, the excitability of nerves and muscles would increase. which means they would undergo depolarization without the usual threshold stimulus and that could result in sustained contractions also referred as tetany and this would be called as hypocalcemic tetany so among the given option removal of parathyroid glands would result in tetany or hypocalcemic tetany whereas addison's disease is due to the removal of cortex of adrenal gland resulting in deficiency of mineralocorticoids or glucocorticoids in the body. Exophthalmic goiter is related to hyperthyroidism when there are excess levels of thyroid hormones in the body. Megaloblastic anemia is a nutritional disorder and it's due to deficiency of B12 vitamin also known as folate. So the right answer is option number three, hypocalcemic tetany.